Hello Ruby, Journey Inside the Computer by Linda Leucas, the world's most whimsical way to learn about computers, programming, and technology. Activities included for future coders. Hello Ruby, Journey Inside the Computer, Linda Leucas. Ruby and her friends will meet Ruby, Bits, Logic Gates, and in the software department, Cursor and Snow Leopard. In the hardware department, Mouse, RAM, ROM, GPU, CPU, and Mass Storage. Chapter 1. Boring. Ruby is a small girl with a huge imagination. Anything is possible if Ruby puts her mind to it. But today, Ruby is bored. There is nothing to do and nobody to play with. No fun tea parties to go to, no rafts to build. Even the toys are just sitting and staring. Doesn't seem like an adventure, Ruby sighs. <sighs> Dad had promised Ruby they would play together with the computer. But now he isn't home. Dad made a promise. I'll just go and play with the computer all by myself, Ruby says as she marches to his office. Chapter 2, Dad's Computer. Ruby turns on the computer and the screen lights up. She carefully types the password Little Miss Ruby 1010 and clicks. Nothing happens. Ruby clicks the mouse again and wiggles it a bit. A silly computer, <laughs> Ruby mutters. All of a sudden, the little white mouse sniffs and says, the computer isn't working today. What's wrong? Cursor isn't answering my messages, Mouse says. Cursor and I always work as a team, but now he's gone missing. Ruby thinks this is starting to sound like an adventure. Well, I just happen to be the best computer troubleshooter I know. I can help you find your friend. Thank you. I've already tried everything I can think of. Follow me. I know how we can get into the computer says Mouse. This is how I send messages into the computer. A mouse hole. Ruby has never noticed the holes on the side of the computer. All excited, she makes herself very small and crawls after Mouse. And then she Falls. Chapter 3. Electricity and Bits Downward and inward, Ruby falls until she finally lands in a big hall with billions of glittering little bits. It's dazzling, Ruby exhales. What's happening here? 
oh, they are bits. They go on and off, on and off, all the time. Everything in a computer is bit on, I mean built, <laughs> on bits. On, off. It's Mr. Electricity who is in charge here, explains Mouse. Should we start looking for Cursor? Ruby suggests. Bits won't be any help. Trying to talk directly with Bits is too tiresome. They only talk in ones and zeros, and it takes at least eight of them working together to say anything more than yes or no. We need to get to the next level, Mouse answers impatiently. Chapter 4 Logic Gates Ruby and Mouse climb up the ladder and peek over the top. Mouse points out a door in the far wall. Through there, we should be able to get some help. But there is a series of strange formations and gates in the way. Ruby and Mouse try to sneak quietly past them, but they are spotted. Hi there. If you want to go through the gates, you have to solve our riddles first. Answer either true or false. We practice logic and reason all the time. Ruby is prepared to take the challenge. She marches up to the first gate and... I have eyes and a mouth. True. Not. I am not green. False. Or. I have legs or a tail. True. Very good, Ruby. Now we can play another game. It's called Exclusive Or. No, Ruby, let's run. We'll take the shortcut, Mouse whispers. Mouse whispers. Chapter 5 Computer Architecture I know who we can ask for help, says Mouse, the C-P-U, but he's very bossy and I'm afraid to interrupt him. Even from afar, they can hear someone shouting commands. Fetch, decode, store, next. Ruby walks straight up to the CPU and tries to act very professional. Are you the boss here? Yes. I am the CPU of the computer. I tell others what to do. I'm very fast, and right now I'm extremely busy. Mr. CPU, Cursor isn't working today. Have you seen him around? The CPU looks confused. I don't know. It's not my job to remember everything. I'm very busy making decisions. You better talk to GPU. Cursor is her assistant. Welcome, 
Come look at my beautiful creations. My secret is mathematical precision. GPU exhales. No sign of cursor here, says Mouse. Here comes Ram. Let's ask her, says Mouse. Ram is panting. I'm so hot! So why are you running all the time? asked Ruby. CPU and GPU keep bossing me. It's always me who needs to fetch every little detail from mass storage, says Ram, and continues running. We have a problem. Cursor has been missing all day, explains Ruby. Do you remember what happened? Check my storage. He remembers everything. At the end of the day, I'm exhausted and my head is all empty. Ruby walks up to mass storage. Ruby, you won't find Cursor here in the hardware department. You'll need to go to the software department, he explains, sounding very friendly and wise. Chapter 6. Software. Onward and upward they go. And this looks familiar, says Ruby. Look, that's my favorite game. This is where Cursor should be, Mouse worries. Hello, Ruby. Oh, and great to see you, King Mouse, says Snow Leopard. I'm having a little tea party here. It's been such a quiet day today. Have you seen Cursor by any chance? It's very difficult to use my operating system without Cursor. We are here to find Cursor, but asking around hasn't helped us. We must now do troubleshooting to solve this problem, says Ruby with a determined look on her face. Chapter 7 Troubleshoot First, we'll think of all the places where Cursor might be. Next, we'll rule out the places where we've already visited and didn't find Cursor. And if that doesn't work, we'll have to think why Cursor is missing. The best troubleshooters always ask why, Ruby says knowingly. <laughs> I think I know what happened, Ruby says after a moment while plugging Mouse into the computer. And finally, Ruby finds Cursor fast asleep. Mouse! What a long nap! I must have fallen asleep while waiting for something to happen. <sighs> Cursor yawns and stands up. We better start clicking, spinning, pushing, dragging, dropping, and pointing. Mouse smiles and wiggles its tail. Mouse and Cursor, you make such a great team. And now you can continue working together, says Ruby. I'm such a good troubleshooter. Dad will be so proud to see how well the computer now works.
activity book.